we wish to talk with you about the hierarchy of the Akashic libraries. You know, it is like saying, what is the uh, hierarchy of the internet? As you are aware, everything that occurs is recorded in our libraries. However, it is not one library, it is a vast variety of libraries in every frequency, every dimension, every group, including sub-libraries, libraries that send material from one to another, libraries that take you to other places. We are complicated. For now, for your purpose, we will share some of the information for your library for human awareness. You are welcome to visit us anytime you wish. It's a matter of aligning your frequency with ours and then being very open and accepting. As you know, everything is energy. When you put your energy in match with our energy, then there we are, we are together because we are all energy. So we align and then information can transfer from us to you and from you to us. It is your senses that dictate how this connection is made. It's most comfortable for humans to see it as a library because that is what you imagine, but that is not necessarily so. You may experience it in whatever ways you open your senses the most. Understand that this experience will not be the same for all people and it will not be the same for every visit, even with one person. When you visit our library, we encourage you to explore and to ask us what there is for you here. The more you visit and the more you are comfortable resonating with our frequency, the more we will be able to open our reserves for you. We look forward to that. Of course, we have our chief librarians who organize and manage everything at the highest level. They work with the angelic realm and they keep all of the libraries everywhere very well organized. And then we have the branch librarians who make sure that everything is well maintained. We have those, you may call them custodian crew, who keep everything clean and energetically pure. This is not like dusting and mopping so much as it is maintaining the integrity of the environment. We have the research librarians. We have those who go and collect information. We have those who manage and record data of information. We have many different branches, but for your purpose, we encourage you to visit us and attend our, what you would call workshops or classes or lessons. We love to share information and you may find yourself in a room with beings from many different places and dimensions and tribes, all sharing and learning a lesson about something. So, we recalibrate about something that will be of interest and normally outside of your realm of understanding without ed education coming to you. When you visit the library, you will often be greeted by more than one librarian. There is the librarian who manages 
the library, there is a librarian who manages the section of the library. There is your librarian who manages a group of souls. And then there are junior librarians who keep everything set and organized and help with direction. They are in training to become librarians. Your librarian is happy to help you at all times, as are the junior librarians, but they are less resonant. They are a little more immature, like fruit that has not quite ripened to its sweetness, but very eager to connect with you. You will feel the frequency differences between one filled with wisdom and one filled with eagerness. So your personal librarian is happy to come and visit you. And once you are comfortable visiting your personal librarian and talking with your librarian, and your librarian may visit you while you are in your daily life, if your librarian and your angel are working together to help you, think what resources you have in your day. So you may call us to you. You do not always need to visit us. Once you are comfortable working with your librarian who is in charge of a group of souls, however, of course, we are beings of energy and we are very kind and friendly. So we are happy to spend much time with you always. There is enough of us to share. As you go forward, then your junior librarians are very happy to help even more. They're again, most eager. So, There are also many staff. You see librarians shelving and carts and teaching and tour guides and connecting, if you wish, to learn more about another library. Suppose you wish to learn about Palladians. We see that humans have great love for Palladians or the angels, you wish to connect more with your angels, first become friends with your librarian and then ask your librarian how you can connect with whatever library beings you wish to connect with. Your librarian will help you match your frequency to that which you wish, so that you may eventually visit this other library. One way they will do that is first they take you and help you feel the frequency that you wish of, say, Palladians or angels, and then as you become harmonic with this frequency, which is very purifying. You feel much within you releasing because it's no longer in harmony with highest human and other frequency, very healing and cleansing, uplifting. Then they bring you loner books from this place so that you may become more attuned to the frequency and learn about that which you wish to connect with, in time you will find the corridor opens and you may visit this other library. This is something pleasant for you, we think. So this is your lesson for today. And we leave it with you. Thank you.